case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in 1978 a serious car accident at an intersection led to a poignant legal battle known as baker v elcona holmes corp heard by the united states court of appeals for the sixth circuit the accident marked not only tragic loss but also the start of a lawsuit that would wrestle with evidence standards and judicial errors. The plaintiffs undertook the task of proving negligence by the defendant, a truck driver employed by Elcona Homes Corporation, asserting the vehicle had failed to yield right-of-way leading to the catastrophic collision. The defendant, however, cited an obstructed view due to sun glare. Absence of direct eyewitnesses, however, transformed the case into an enigmatic puzzle of circumstantial evidence. Within this web of evidence emerged a crucial piece, a police accident report prepared by Sergeant John N. Hendrickson. Admitted as evidence, the report played a significant role in helping the jury reach their decision in favor of the defendants. However, the drama did not end there. The Court of Appeals discerned that the district court erroneously precluded the findings of the HEW examiner based on Rule 803-8 under the Federal Rules of Evidence. The ruling suggested that the district court incorrectly categorized the color of the traffic light as hearsay, whereas it was, in fact, a vital factual finding, as per the Rule 803-8. Despite this judicial oversight, the verdict was far from being uncorroborated by the evidence, leading the jury to side with the defendant. The weight of proof lay heavily against the plaintiff who failed to confirm the truck driver's negligence. Consequently, Baker v. Elcona Homes Corp concluded by affirming not only the decision of the jury, but also the pivotal importance of factual findings within the judicial process. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.